Hey, it's Necktie. Welcome to episode 54 of my No GPS series. And in this one, we're going to take some mini excavators to Lincoln, Montana. I have a couple announcements to make. And I messed up my, uh, what am I, what's the word I'm looking for? My spreadsheet. So there's that. Let's get into it. All right, so first and foremost, my spreadsheet. If you remember from the last episode, I had said that I had Shelby crossed off, but we had never been there. For some reason, in Google Docs, I wasn't paying attention when I updated my spreadsheet, and I basically just overwrote whatever city was in there because it was on the same line. Well, that city was obviously crossed off, so it was formatted that way, and I didn't catch that. So bottom line is, when we get to Lincoln, we're going to be back at 87 still of 201. So there's that. The other announcements I'll get into after uh, we go through this. So if you remember correctly, or if you don't, if this is your first time here, damn glad to have you. We left off at Leonard. So we're going to come out of here, and actually I'm going to try and take this road. It was a, well, of course it was at night as well, but it was a pain in the ass over here because I went the wrong way first and foremost but we're gonna come out of Leonard I'm gonna try and take this road see if I can I may just come straight out I don't know yet either way right out of Leonard right at the T come back around here I can't I know this was a stop sign I don't know if this traffic stopped here or not so we're gonna take a left at the intersection I put left after the curve so I know we're gonna come through the toll booth and then we're gonna hang a right on US 2 and we're gonna come back through Kalispell and hit 93 south we're gonna take a left on that and then we're taking 93 South. Uh, we're gonna actually discover Polson. I, I don't have a choice. So it's gonna show up as we discovered it, but I'm still gonna have to take a load out of there, out of here or deliver there, because this is actually Polson. Anywho, we're gonna continue down here to 90 East. And then when we get to 90 East, we're gonna take the Montana 200 exit. And we're coming right up here to KB Home, which is gonna be on the left after the way station. Seems simple enough. We shall see. Let's get this old girl fired up. And I can delete this. Alright, so where's that road to the right? Oddly enough, it's to the right. If anyone hasn't seen, that's what the mini excavators look like. Alright. Rig lights off. A load info for those interested. And let's roll. It's been a hell of a week, let me tell you. I've made adjustments to my rig. Moved my shifter, ended up taking this... Six and a half inch extension off of it. I still want to find a better place to mount it, but that's going to involve then relocating my button box, and there's only so much shit you can do, so it'll probably just end up staying the way it is. Uh, but one of the big announcements, probably the biggest, I would say, for most of you, is that... Uh, I am going back to daily videos. With the caveat of I'm going to try to keep them in the like 20 to 40 minute time frame. So that will allow for, you know, like semi longer loads, which I think will work for this series since we're just trying to, you know, go from city to city basically. but also not so long that people get bored and start tuning out. And I get there's a vast majority of you that prefer the longer episodes. There's probably just as many though, if not more, that prefer something shorter because not everybody has that kind of time. And I totally get it. And I actually came up with that 20 to 40 minute number by going through... I did a lot of research on numbers, which I'm not a numbers guy, so... That was fun. Not really. Oh, hey, look, there's a stop sign up here. 
and I was going through like my watch history of not only my channel of things that I watch that I'm subscribed to, but on my main channel. So like all the, you know, like the Jeep Gladiator and all of the, the gun shit and all of that stuff that I watch. And those videos are typically 15 to 40 minutes, depending. So that's where I came up with that number. Now, what I'm hoping is that that will allow me to, oh, I'm trying to take off in five high, that never works very well. That, that is gonna lighten the load, so to speak. Oh, my bad, it's five o'clock in the morning and I don't have my headlights on. So damn stupid. Um, because it takes, and it's probably because I'm a dumbass and I'm not very good at editing, but my typical recordings are anywhere from hour and a half. Well, no, I'll say an hour 20 to an hour 40. And I get them down to what you guys see. That being said, it takes an hour 20, hour and 40 to record, right? And then I have to edit it, which is probably double that time frame. Because I'll go through and I cut out all of the dead space. That's why a lot of times it sounds like I don't take a breath before I'm... Or... Before I talk, or... How am I trying to say that? Like, I don't take a breath while I'm talking. There we go. So I'll do that, and... And I actually have to watch episode right and also to make sure that I'm not missing anything else now can you just you know look at your audio track and find out where the dead space is yes you can do that but as I said I'm not that damn good plus you still have to be careful how to cut it because the way my audio stuff is set up not everything I say exactly picks up and shows spikes on the audio track if that makes sense bottom line is what I'm trying to say is it takes anywhere it's roughly four to five hours per video between recording editing rendering and then uploading it's actually more like five hours I mean, some people can probably do it quicker than that, and that's great. That's fine. But, as I've said before, I know what I don't like to watch, so I try to not have that. So, number one, it's going to lighten the workload. Number two is, by just doing one load per episode, it's going to be a little easier to do. I think. I don't know, maybe it won't. But not only that, but it's gonna give me something, something to do. Not that I'm bored because there's plenty of shit around the house to keep me busy. But I found that just doing like one video a week, I forget what the hell I did. So then I have to sit down here and it takes like I don't know, 30, 40 minutes of figuring out where I was at, what I was doing, you know, that sort of thing. So, anyway, long story short is daily videos are coming back. This is the first one that you're watching on Monday. By the way, happy Memorial Day for those of you that, uh, that affects...
So every day at 3 p.m. there's going to be a video. And it may come to a point, I don't know yet, that because I know there are people concerned about, about me getting burnt out. And, and that's a valid concern. So it may just... I, I mean, I'm going to try every day again. And then if I get to the point where I need a break... I'll either just take a week off or maybe I'll just dial it back to Monday through Friday. I don't know. So anyway, that's number one. The videos are coming back daily, but they're going to be at a uh, shorter, more palatable package, per se. Callus Bell left lane. All right. Well, we do want US 2 West. And I didn't need to get over this far, but since I'm here, whatever. Now, the second one is if you play this game or ETS 2, uh, I have started. A shit show logistics VTC. For those that don't know, that's a virtual trucking company. And it's honestly just for fun. It's not, there's nothing serious. I, there's no mileage requirements. You don't have to go through a probationary period. Basically, you just have to click apply, type something in the box if you want to, like say, hey, jackass, hire me or whatever, or you don't have to type anything in there. And then I will approve your application because I'm the only one assigned to do that at the moment. And we currently, well, there's seven of us in there now. I just started this Saturday, so. But if you're interested and you're not already a member of my Discord, link below for the Discord. And then when you go through the onboarding process of that, which is, it's basically just signing up sort of thing. Um, but I'm trying out the new onboarding process for new members on the Discord server, which basically kind of asks you questions like what you're interested in, what channels you want to see, that sort of thing. For example, if you don't give a shit about racing or farming, you just want to see the trucking crap, well then don't select the farming or racing channels and you'll never see them. That sort of thing. Anywho, everybody that joins the Discord has access to the SSL-information and SSL-application channels. Everything's there that you need to know. In a nice, concise little package. And then, once you apply and you're hired, I give you the shit show logistics role in the Discord, which will then give you access to everything in the shit show logistics category for the BTC. And only people that are in the BTC can see those channels, so. Yeah, and it's just, I guess it's something to do if you play this game and you kind of want to feel like like you're doing more than just driving around, like there's a, a bigger cause or whatever. Well, your mileage and your your money go towards the company. Now, I also have... Okay, wait a minute. Am I supposed to turn here? Because that says Kalispell. I don't remember a turn right. Let me grab my notes here. Left curve, right on US 2, left on the US 93. All right, well, we're still on US 2, so. Wait a minute. Does that sign over there say 93? No. 35. And this camera's not gonna be, all right, whatever. Yeah, 
and um, screw because these cars, all right. I had a feeling I shouldn't have tried to do all this at once, but hey. Anyway, once you're a member of the VTC, there is a, I have a SSL skins and logos channel. My ATS necktie gaming pack is in that. My ETS2 necktie gaming pack is in that. And all of my open def files for all the logos for the Ruta 389 glider, the highway killer, the Freightliner Classic XL. I don't have anything for the P362. I don't know why. I'll have to look at that. Um, and then the logos for the Pizzer. Now, none of that shit is required for you to run unless you want to. Oh, I need a left on 93. Thankfully, nobody's behind us. Don't mind me, cop. We're, we're fine. Let me go. I even managed to hit my blinker and make it all legal-like. Yeah, so it's not a requirement. If you want to run them, awesome. Even if... And what would be awesome is if you're a content creator and you make videos and you're in the BTC, well, that would be cool as hell. But again, you don't have to. For example, this load I'm running right now is actually going to count towards the BTC because I have the Trucks Book client open. Now, if I didn't want this to count for the BTC, I just wouldn't open the Trucks Book client. It's that simple. So yeah, just kind of something fun to do um, while you're out driving around. I mean, you know, why not? I'm just out here making a video. These miles and whatever money I make are gonna go towards the company. And then there's company rankings and, you know, on Truck's Book, that sort of thing. And uh, yeah, just a little something to add some more camaraderie to the community and don't get too excited, but down the road, I do have plans of doing convoys with the VTC, that sort of thing. And it, they may not even, it doesn't even necessarily have to be recorded or like streamed. They can just be us hanging out one night doing a convoy. So, have no idea when that's going to happen yet, but that I do have plans that I want to do that. Alright, now we should have... US-90 should be our next turn, he says semi-confidently. Pretty sure. Oh, a right on US-90. It's a good thing I... Oh, because I think the on-ramp is on the right-hand side, I believe, is why I have that written like that. tracking off to reach down and grab the paper so it didn't go all over the place and then when I went to turn it on I hit the wrong button to recenter it. Something seems off though. Oh, I needed to sit back further. I was hunched over too much. But yeah, so those are the two big things, uh, back to daily videos, and we now have a shit show logistics VTC for those interested. And I'll also caveat that with 
like I said, there's there's no probationary period, there's no mileage requirements, there's nothing like that. It's just having fun and having the miles that you're running count towards something else. And then you have exclusive, air quotes, access to just the VTC channels in the Discord. So there's that. What I'm getting at is, do not, I repeat, do not be the individual that causes me to rein things in and tighten things down. Trust me, you don't want to be that person. And I don't want to have to do that. I mean, at the end of the day, it's a damn game. Right? So... Other than that, uh, it's going to be an interesting week. I don't know why I started, basically, because I probably wasn't thinking properly. Shocking. Uh, but I have my colonoscopy on Thursday. Because I've never had one. And I was honest with my doctor when he asked, and I said I'd never had one. He's like, oh, well, then let's schedule you for one. Perfect. Yeah, so that's Thursday, which means Wednesday is prep day. I can't eat a damn thing Wednesday. It's a liquid diet. And then starting at 6 p.m., I have to start drinking that crap that cleans you out. That's the first dose. And then the second dose I have to take at midnight. And then I have to check in at the ER because that's where we check in at. Check in at the ER at the hospital at 7.30 in the morning. So yeah, I'm going to have to have a couple of videos in the hopper here, I think, because... Pretty sure I'm not gonna feel like doing a damn thing Thursday when I get home. The procedure's at like nine o'clock. As it stands right now. They may call me the day before and want me there earlier because somebody canceled. Which I would be fine with, but if not, it's nine o'clock Thursday. And again, it's just a screening, but the doctor did say if they find anything like polyps or whatever in there, Whatever the hell that means, I have no clue. Uh, but they'll just go ahead and take them out then and there. So, yeah. The joys of being 49. But I am sleeping better. I feel like I missed my turn. Oh no, Pulsing. 93 was just... Okay, we're good. And then we'll hit... We'll see Candy Cattle on the... Oh, there's a photo op spot. Or a viewpoint, something like that. Yeah, Candy Cattle. Which is uh, part of ATS expansion. We'll be on the right. And then the interstate. All right, back to what I was going to say. Um, I am sleeping better, for the most part. And I figured out that it was because of the vitamin B and magnesium that they prescribed me for headaches. Which, to be honest, I didn't really have bad headaches. I, it's more of a light sensitivity. So, if I'm outside for any length of time, um, I mean, I can go out and check the mail without putting on sunglasses, but if I'm out longer than that and I don't have sunglasses on, it's, it's gonna be rough. So, when I got to thinking about when I started having issues sleeping, 
it was right around that time I started taking the vitamin B and magnesium. So I stopped taking that and I seem to be doing a lot better. Is uh, not much is new. Uh, Sugar Mama is uh, registered for and paid has paid for her capstone for her master's degree. Which, I don't even know if I want to go down this rabbit hole, but fucking college is just ridiculous. And the thing is, she has the GI Bill, right? So, the Masters is paying for most of it, but she still has to... The, it, the GI Bill doesn't cover the $150 for the capstone course. Not to mention, if you're already paying this tuition and all that, why do you have to pay additional for the capstone course? You know what I mean? I don't know. Maybe one day I'll go on this college rant, but... I don't feel like it today. <laughs> because I, I try to... I... I try to stay away from, like, politics and shit like that. Because I know those are so, such a touchy subject, right? And as divisive as this flipping country and world are nowadays, it's either you agree with whomever or you're an asshole. Or a racist, since that's a popular word to throw around. Oh, you don't agree with me, you're a racist. Oh, okay. I don't know, that, that word meant something very different when I was growing up, but... Apparently you can just throw it around like it's nothing nowadays. Okay, we're, I know we're still on 93 South, but... feel like the interstate was this far away. Now, we do have 122 miles according to SIM dashboard, and we have seven minutes of real world time to get there. Oh, I think this is candy right there. Yeah, that is. That's one of recon sites. All right, so the interstate's coming up. And if anybody didn't know what these are here... Those are called, uh... Wildlife bridges. So they're made, and see how the fences are and everything? It's like that in real life. It's to funnel the... Animals... Across the highway... In a safe manner. So they don't get plowed. Fun fact, for anyone that didn't know. Yeah, that's where my right turn was, because the on-ramp is on the right-hand side for some reason here. Hey, there's a truck wash over there. I ain't got that kind of time, though. I feel like they could have saved money by just putting a turn lane there instead of having that, uh, like a median. What do I know? 
Oh, the other thing game-wise is too, holy shit, it's been... I was having issues with PNG, but then PNG came out with this little hot fix and it was a little better. And then I got to looking at my mod folder and it was just pissing me off. Because I have so much payware crap that I don't use. Especially when it comes to trucks and trailers, right? Because you can only drive one truck and pull one trailer at a damn time. Anyway, that being said, what you're looking at right here is JBX2 PNG and the free Grimes New Summer Mod. And some of you would be like, I thought you took out JBX2 because it was causing... It was, it probably still is, I don't know, but where I'm at at this is I, I freaking paid $35 for it, so I'm going to use it. That's kind of where I'm at at this point. I'm tired of buying shit and just, it's sitting there. Like I was going, I, I was literally cleaning out my mod folder because, which I didn't really know this, so if you don't know, like if you have mods in your mod folder, even if they aren't activated in your profile, the way I understand it is either they all load or some of them can still load, something like that. I don't know how true that is, I don't know, but I mean it makes sense to me. So I was basically cleaning out my mod folder of getting shit rid of stuff that I don't have active or haven't had active in ages. Because I try and keep this profile and my main profile as close as possible, although it's I'm like 10 mods off. Because in my main profile I have all the rudest stuff. I have every damn trailer I own in that one. Um, I wasn't paying attention at all. We need Montana 200 exit. And have I passed that? Please tell me this is it coming up right here. Yeah, perfect. Really? Okay. It's awesome that that happens on when you're trying to, you know, make a video at a certain amount of time. Well, this one's going to be longer right off the rip. And I'm going to have to pull over here and figure out how to do this because I can't. I mean, I guess I could have kept going to pull my map up, but we'll... We'll do it this way. Yay. The funny part is I have that detour bullshit like that turned all the way down because I was tired of it. Here we are. Alrighty. Okay, so we're right here somewhere? Yeah, it's got to be. There's no way in hell I'm doing this. Sorry, folks, but there's not. I am not detouring all the way down here to come back around because there's no place here to turn around. Yeah, that shit ain't happening. I've already been recording for 36 minutes, so again, I have to do shit I don't like doing. That was the wrong key. Man, that frustrates the hell out of me. Wrong key. Ty, could you hit the right one? Shows you how much I do this, and I can't even freaking remember what the hell keys it are. And again, I get that that's not realistic at all. Sorry. Not sorry. though trying to keep videos at a certain time frame and then that shit happens <laughs> oh, I just thought about something too that's gonna be interesting how that logs that for the VTC I mean I did go backwards so all right, Ty, pay attention, because we need KB home. 
was on the left hand side after the way station. Correct. Good thing I wrote that down. Yeah, so I don't know what I was talking about before that freaking detour. Um, I think it was like the mod folder thing. So, yeah, I basically did that. I went through and I got rid of like all the mods I'm not using. If I was subscribed to them on Steam, I unsubscribed. That said, I think I still have like 200 plus in my mod folder. such but maybe that's just me in my head or that could just be part of JPX JBX not JPX JBX well, there's rustic do I remember seeing rustic on the map new summer mod to messing with those tree textures. these circus type way stations like this where you have to good lord I don't know why it's checking that mirror it's not like there's anything to run into I guess just habit Five three thirty six. What up, officer?
watch where you're going tonight. KB Homes, I'm guessing that's probably this up here. This construction site. anything that says KB Homes. So I'm going to keep going. I feel like that was it though. Oh, maybe it wasn't. Like I do in real life, be like, where the hell is this place? Watch it be back where I thought it was. We are all the way up here. So it was, it was back where I thought it was. somewhere. This episode out of the park, huh? That being said, where are we where are we parking these? Okay, I'm not gonna complain. After the trip I've had. easy way. I mean, why make it harder than it needs to be, you know what I'm saying? Although I think we're still going to have to back up a little bit the way this is angled. and made our setup easier, huh? I 
outstanding. Truck on, oh, I forgot to turn my lights off. I guess they were on the whole damn time. Uh, let's unload. And I was late because I got freaking lost. 30 minutes late. Had I not drove past that, I would have been on time. Look at me go. Just freaking killing it. But hey, the shit got here safely and it was not destroyed. So there's that. All right, so we have Lincoln, number 87, gone. So good deal, episode one of the week in the book, also known as episode 54. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, episode 54 comes to an end. Thanks for watching. Y'all take care, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.